So here we are in the season of Advent, but we hardly see Advent in Britain because it is flattened by the steamroller that is Christmas and its commercialization. So already you'll have lots of corny tunes in your head as you go around the supermarkets and shopping centers of this uh, county, like Mariah Carey's All I Want For Christmas Is You. But this is the season of Advent uh, where we express our hope in God, celebrating the first coming of the Lord Jesus as a baby and anticipating his second advent as a king. And we nurture and nourish and encourage this hope within ourselves and within others. But what if the hope has been extinguished within you? There's been a recent survey by the NHS in Britain conducted uh, and released in November 2018, which showed the increasing prevalence of mental illness among children and young people. Perhaps the most startling statistic was that nearly one in four young women now suffer from a diagnosable mental illness. And the incidence of mental illness among children at a primary school age is also going up. Understanding why this is the case is complicated. There are many overlaying factors and it's not easy to pin down just one. However, uh, two authors, Stephen Hinshaw and Rachel Krantz, have identified what they call the triple bind, the kind of yearning for perfection that's foist upon young people uh, academically, socially and physically. And this is corroding their souls, they believe. So the academic pressures, we know all about those, the desire and the encouragement and the expectation that young people will obtain the very best grades, but not everybody can. Uh, the pressures socially, which have always been there for teenagers, but are now magnified by social media because we can carefully calibrate the number of friends that we have through the likes, uh, the befriendings and the sharings that goes on, as well as the bullying too, which can isolate and stigmatize young people. And then there are the physical pressures too, which the media generates uh, expecting people, especially women, to be physically perfect and judging them if they don't reach these standards. And with everything being so image-based now, young people feel the need to craft an image which reflects as near to perfection as possible, but nobody can achieve that. All of those three areas, academic, social and physical, the kind of quest and the expectation of perfection has been driven by an older generation, not by the younger people themselves. So we need to be very careful when we speak about terms like Generation Snowflake, as if they will wilt under any kind of pressure. We have placed unreasonable pressures upon them that their souls in every way should be perfect, when in fact God accepts us and loves us as we are. So as we journey through Advent and begin to make our plans for Christmas and those corny songs like Mariah Care is all I want for Christmas uh, resound through our minds, let's remember that for many young people, all they want for Christmas is peace, peace of mind. <laughs>